New tonight, private parts for a public audience. It is the new phenomenon of online sex bullying. Websites are profiting off of nude photos and videos that were never meant to be online. And that kind of embarrassing exposure has led some to suicide. Fox 35's Chase Kane investigates how a quick picture can turn into a permanent problem. We're on with those girls. Brian Calzini like like remembers the moment his, his life so fell apart. I get a phone call like, your post on the site. I was like, no way. Management's calling me, the label's calling me, like, what's going on? What's all this stuff about? Brian's a vocalist with We Are Defiance, a band with a record contract and a lot at stake. That has very much put my career in jeopardy. Yeah, it's, it's held back our band and a lot of, a lot of different roads you try to go down to gets get stopped because of that website. Like, it's been a battle, our band's career, for the past two years, probably. Nearly two years ago, naked pictures of Brian showed up on Is Anyone Up, a website which allowed people to anonymously send explicit pictures. Then, those pictures get linked directly with the person's Facebook or Twitter page, so it is quite clear whose private parts are being exposed, sometimes for revenge against an ex. In Brian's case, just a friend playing a joke. I don't think she was thinking of the consequences behind it. I think she thought it'd be kind of funny and like a funny thing, but not funny at all. Yeah, the very first was embarrassing and then it kind of, it's more of like an aggravation now because you have to constantly explain yourself, constantly explain yourself. And some of the teens and 20-somethings posted had more to explain than just naughty pictures. Some were accused of gay sex. Others had a gold seal by their name. Certified herpes confirmed. No matter whether any of that is true. It needs to be shut down. <laughs> Honestly, like it needs to be taken down. Like it, it's ruining people's lives. People are losing jobs. They're losing marriages and it's all because of one person with a stupid idea that is ruining people's lives. Jada Collins knows yeah, that all like too you. well. Some of the the clients that I see, they are suicidal. They are, you know, in despair. They are at their wits end and in, in hopelessness. Jada is a certified mental health expert with Total Life Counseling and says people must consider the consequences of snapping naughty pictures. I really want to encourage them to understand that the sexting, um, it's not cool, even though they're getting these cool responses of, oh, you're, you look sexy, you look hot. You know, that's good for a minute, but you just don't have control of, of what's going to happen after that. Yep, once the naked picture has been taken, that is it. Because not even law enforcement can do anything about these sites. And that's because most of them operate their servers overseas, avoiding most state and federal laws. Is it unfair? Absolutely. It's unfair, but at the same time, we have to take responsibility for protecting ourselves as much as we can. And as for the guy responsible for, is anyone up? Hunter Moore? Well, Forbes reports that Moore made $13,000 a month off the site before cashing it in, selling to an anti-bullying group, Bullyville.com. Moore explained why to HL Lens, uh, Dr. Know, Drew. With all the attention, we had more weirdos and more weirdos every day submitting to the site. And uh, we were dealing with a ton of uh, underage um, stuff you know, pictures that were submitted every day and a lot of animal abuse and, uh, you know, people that had been submitted uh, and posted on the site in the past who had died within the year that the site would been up. Um, people would find the pictures of them dead and uh, post them along their nude pictures. And that was... Uh, the drama I was talking about when I wanted to take the site down and eventually did. Is anyone up? Being down isn't the end because there are still plenty of other sites just like it. I mean, and Brian yeah, knows more, things like, don't just die on the internet. Once, twice a week, I always have someone talk to me about the site and it's, I just want to like put it past me and forget it and I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. When I look at uh, the full picture, I would like to see laws put into place that can stop um, some of these things from happening so that people aren't bullied to death. Chase Kane, Fox 35 News. Countless lawyers have failed in trying to have those photos removed from these sex bullying sites. That's why experts say really your only protection is to never take the pictures in the first place. Hello, 
I'm Jada Jackson, licensed mental health counselor, and I believe that life change begins with a healthy relationship between the counselor and the client. Now, at our private counseling firm, we believe in creating a very safe and protective environment for our clients. Now, although I'm a licensed mental health counselor, dealing with very complicated issues that include anxiety, depression, grief, trauma, and sexual abuse, I'm also a life coach. And that means I deal with very common life transitional issues and career development challenges. Now, counseling is not an admission for weakness or failure. It's a bold statement of power and security and strength. And I wanna help you develop a healthy treatment plan and strategy so that you can achieve your ultimate success in life. Remember, your journey for success starts now. Stay tuned for ways that you can contact me today.